Hello everyone, this is Aarti and I'm back with another video. Today we are going to see Visa Fridays update. And this is the first Visa Fridays for the month of February. And this is going to give us an update on the slots availability and operation status of US Embassy and Consulates in India. For people who are not aware of what is Visa Fridays, it is an opportunity created by US Embassy and Consulate in India for the applicants to know about the slots availability and operation status. And along with it, it is also an interaction between the applicants. And the applicants can shoot their questions and the consulate will answer and with this visa Fridays the consulate will also know what the applicants are looking for. So this is basically uh, very helpful for the applicants as well as for consulate and as like other visa Fridays many questions have been raised on fresh B1B2 or Dropbox B1B2 work visa categories like H1B, students visa categories, C1B, R visa and many questions have been raised on immigrant visa categories as well. And also they have discussed about clearance received and what about the slots availability for the month of June, July. So let's get into the video for more updates on this. First, let's see about a work visa category. Usually, more questions will be raised on this category, but the question that has been raised for work visa category is, when will the slots be opened for the month of June, July, August? And for that, the consulate have replied that, best course of action that you can do is, keep checking US travel docs for the slots availability because the slots might be available in short notice itself, which means you can continue checking and the slots might be available anytime. Because if you see the current situation, the slots have already opened for the month of uh, Jan till May and even now the slots are available. So there is no issue for the people who are looking for the slots starting January till May. And that is why there is no queries raised on this time period. But the next set of people who are planning to travel in the month of June, July, August are raising this question and um, they will not announce and then open the slots because now it is almost uh, coming to normal and uh, so they might open the slots anytime. So for people who are looking for the slots or planning to get a slot in the month of June, July or August, continue checking US travel docs so that you might be able to get the early slots availability whenever they open the slots because they are almost opening slots every single day even we are able to see the slots daily but anyways even we will update as and when the June slots have been opened so that it will be helpful for our viewers as well. Next is B1-B2 visa category. I think this is the most impacted visa category and many people are waiting for an update on new B1-B2 visa and when will the slots be increased for Dropbox B1-B2. Because recently many people are trying very hard to get the slots for Dropbox B1-B2 itself. So this question has been raised in this Visa Fridays and the consulate have answered that there is no update on fresh B1-B2 or it is also called as a new B1-B2 visa category. And uh, they are not able to speculate when they will be able to share an update on this. So you can continue checking is the point that they have mentioned. So with this we can understand that. So we need not wait for when they will give an update on this category. Instead, if you are one among the applicant who are looking for new B1, B2, then please continue checking because uh, we never know when they will open the slot. Whenever this question has been raised, they are giving the same answer that they are not able to speculate. Instead of uh, raising this query, continue checking. Maybe you will be able to get one in coming days if they open the slots. But uh, this is the answer they are giving it every single Visa Fridays. And when it comes to Dropbox, recently many people are finding it hard to get a Dropbox appointment for B1-B2 visa categories itself. So consulate have added a point that right now only limited slots are available for Dropbox B1-B2. So if you are looking for Dropbox B1-B2, then you can continue checking in a random time so that you will be able to get one whenever the slots are available or whenever they are adding the slots. Right. So that is what the current situation of B1-B2, be it like, you know, uh, new B1-B2 or Dropbox, the only thumb rule is you have to go and keep checking. For the applicants who are looking for new B1-B2 and have some emergency reason to travel, so you can go and expedite your request by getting a slot from the placeholder appointments which is available in the month of September or November or October and then you can expedite the request by mentioning the emergency reason. And the same applies to B1 also. 
because there was another applicant who raised a question on B1 category that they are finding it really hard as because they didn't open new B1 category as well. So even for business visa, if you are not having a valid emergency reason, you cannot expedite a request. Even if you try to raise an emergency request unless and until it is a valid or genuine emergency reason, they are not approving it right now because more number of emergency requests have been raised it seems. So with the current situation, of uh, staffing and um, the pandemic situation not every emergency requests are getting approval unless and until it is having a genuine reason next is about clearance received an applicant who is a B1, B2 visa holder and his visa has been annotated with the clearance received and now his visa is going to expire and he is trying to renew his visa. Though he is eligible for Dropbox as because his visa has been annotated with the clearance received, he is not eligible for Dropbox. So he needs to go for in-person interview. But there is no appointment slots available for B1, B2 when it comes to in-person interview. So what can be done? So when this question has been raised, the consulate have answered that if you are seeking to renew your visa and you meet all of the other requirements for interview waiver or Dropbox, except that your prior visa is annotated, clearance received or department authorization, then we recommend that you apply for an expedited appointment via the appointment booking system. Justify your request for an expedited appointment by stating that you would like to renew your visa via the interview waiver or Dropbox method. However, because your prior visa was annotated clearance received, this is not possible and so require an in-person interview. So with this answer, we can understand that if your visa is annotated as clearance received or department authorization, then you are meant to go for an in-person interview. And they have also mentioned that you can expedite your request. Basically, when the slots are not available and if you are in an emergency situation, and of course you can raise an emergency request, which is also called as expedite appointment. And that that is why they have included clearance received or department authorization as one of the question to become eligible for Dropbox. So this is the current situation and if you are not able to see in-person interview, you can raise an emergency request. Next is students visa category. Many students are still finding it hard to get a slot and one student have raised a question like when we are not able to find a single slot for F1, how is that agents are able to get slots and they are charging almost near to 20,000 per slot. So this is the question that has been raised and the consulate have answered that the appointment fixers which is also called as an agents who are trying to get a slot for the applicants who are requesting them by paying the money is not illegal in India is what is what the consulate have mentioned in this Visa Fridays and they are also trying to control this so that a more number of slots will be available for the applicants who are trying to log in directly. Add on to this uh, for students who are looking for the slots maybe right now the slots are not available eventually they will add the slots is what we can expect because they have already mentioned that next batch of students slots will be opened interviewing in spring. So if you are a student and looking for a slot maybe even if the slots are not available right now anyhow they will be opening in coming days. So uh, continue checking. Next is C1D visa category. The question is when will new C1D visa slots will be opened? And for that the consulate have answered that already C1D visa slots are opened and add on to it Dropbox appointments is also available. But due to the disruption that has been caused due to this pandemic, the demand is huge and so it gets filled up quickly. And moreover they are adding slots whenever the conditions allow. So keep checking so that you will be able to get one. Next is our visa category. The question that has been raised is when will the slots be opened for our visa category? And the consulate replied that the R visa category slots are limited and due to the demand it gets filled up quickly. So continue checking and they are adding slots whenever the conditions allow. Adding on to the consulate point, I would uh, like to add few other points of, from the update that has been shared by our viewers. So many of our viewers uh, were able to get the slots in R visa category, be it like a new R visa or you know Dropbox R visa category as well. So uh, if you are looking for uh, slots in this category, continue checking and uh, uh, if you could able to get the slots then give it in the comment section so that uh, it might be an update for others who are looking for the slots. 
Next, let's say about immigrant visa categories. So when will IR5 immigrant visa interviews available? And for this, the consulate have answered that they have already resumed scheduled routine IR5 appointments through national visa centers. And they are also accepting rescheduling visa appointments as well. And along with it, they have also added a point that they will add more number of appointments as and when it is available. So continue following up so that you'll be able to get your interviews done soon. And same goes to F2A category because because even in this category, many questions have been raised. Many families are separated and waiting, reuniting uh, with the family. And when this kind of questions have been raised and the consulate have answered that they have already resumed and with the new reality of COVID, how many people could accommodate in the waiting rooms and other safety protocols. So they are uh, also trying to increase the numbers and they are trying to clear the backlogs as well. And along with it, they also added a point that they are trying to reach out to the people whose appointments have got cancelled in the month of April to May 2021 and spring 2020. So basically, it might take time, but uh, have to wait because there is a long queue and uh, they will have to clear the backlogs as well. So these are the updates we have for today and more updates are yet to come. Be it like when the slots will be opened for the month of June, July or August and when the slots will be opened for fresh B1, B2. But if you're looking for slots for any of these categories, then please go ahead and check for the slots continuously, be it any visa category, because we will not know when they will open the slot. And for regular updates, make sure to subscribe to the channel and please stay tuned with Purnarthi Vlog for more and more updates on embassy immigration travel and vlogs. Stay healthy, stay safe. Take care. Bye-bye.